Bro, this is gonna be hard to watch, man. Cause he takes a long time to get to the point in his videos. 1.5 speed, brother. Okay, true. In and out's not mid. I wouldn't say it's okay. In and out's great, man. Okay, in and out's great. Now I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just like just the line was so long, it was kind of hard to judge it. You know what I mean? Cause the animal fries were pretty good. Burger is pretty good too. He's doing the YouTuber apology. I didn't want to have to make this video, guys. I really want to keep my subscribers. I really don't want to lose that. I need that to pay to pay rent this month. Guys, I'm sorry for not liking in and out i'm sorry for not eating the food properly i'm sorry you were offended by something i said i'm sorry you were offended for something i said it's your fault if you don't like it true all right let's peep this out here 1.5 x okay it's only six minutes well we'll start off at 1.5 to see if that works studio talk thank you for watching uh, okay it seems kind of fast we'll do 1.25 and today we're going to talk about man and i don't know about you but for many 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 years i was excited about all of the new gear that we would see at nam uh, you know if i couldn't go i would always check my favorite websites I mean if you didn't go though like how do you know that you're really seeing what went down you know what I mean always really good about updating all the new and exciting gear that uh, was being released at that fixes his videos honestly you know it was kind of like you were fl I love Barry Johns but hey he was the old man yelling at clouds dude Rick him and Rick Beato would make the sickest collab and with all of this great new gear that got you excited about uh, something you may potentially buy in the future about the uh, this art of recording and I also play guitar and I get passionate about that um, um, so, so many things to get excited about. So many people that you can hook up with, old new friends. and Know what I'm saying? So many people to hook up with. Hmm? All that great and amazing gear. And, and so in 2019 was, in my opinion, um, the last real true NAM. You know, then of course COVID hit and that changed the world for everybody. And so, you know, I was hoping. Wait, is this still at 1.25? No fucking way, dude. This is still, I thought it was just talking normally. And expecting, although I'd heard rumors, you know, I didn't expect last year's NAM to. I remember my first hookup at NAM back in 1969. I have flashbacks about it to this day, dude. Be much, you know, um, and so, and, and it wasn't, as you all know. Um, but this year I was hoping hoping for a full return. I was hoping that we would get back to seeing all of that new gear and get excited about it. Well, I really think there it's no coincidence that the last one he was excited about was the one he went to. You know what I mean? I feel like you're probably more likely to be excited about it if you go there. You know, leading up to it, I kept hearing rumors and certain topics would come up in forums and things like that about. I mean, I will say that there wasn't a lot of new stuff, though. Like there were a few things, but not much. If anime cons or anything to go off, I would assume people at NAMM don't use deodorant. It wasn't that bad. I think anime cons are just better. I mean, when I say better, worse. I don't know why I said better. Freudian sleep there. Weaver Weeb confirmed. That's why I like he's so slow. Throw him on 1.35. I don't know if you can control the actual number like that. You can just, uh, can you do custom? No. Oh, wait, you can. Can I type it? Or how does this work? Wait, hold up. Wait, how does this work? Wait, wait, how does this work? Okay, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Is there, are there arrows? I can't see the fucking arrows. I don't see the arrows. It's just black on my screen. This is bullshit. I'm just gonna go to 1.5. Vendor was not gonna go. That vendor was. Why there should always be new stuff? Well, I think because that's like the reason to go. You know what I mean? I'm so glad I introed you to this feature. I didn't know you could customize it. And I didn't know if that was accurate information or not. And so, um, but the reality is that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, this year when Nam um, Point seven five opened, x typically most of my favorite websites would start po posting up all of the new gear. I didn't get to go this year. I'm glad I didn't this year. But uh, you know, they would post all the new gear as they tip. Think he's a massive hater. Typically do, and you'd look at it and say, is, are there servers down? Is something going on? Here, well, what's this all about? Because there really wasn't much, if anything, to look at. I personally didn't see anything that excited me. I'm not saying it's not there, you know, and, and there's not things to be excited about. But for me, I, I didn't see anything that was released like, wow, wow, I've got to have that, or I really want to investigate that and look into it. Uh, and I talked to some people who went to NAM, and, and it was basically, in their opinion, a big flop. Um, yes, all of the activities that happened around it, you know, uh, the gathering together and hanging out with some new people, making some new friends, that was all there. But as far as the gear, um, watch everything at 0.75x, so I can really appreciate the creatorship. Mm. I feel like every NAM, if it was the same old thing, they would lose money real fast. Most manufacturers were MIA, and if they were there, they really didn't come to show us anything. Yeah, there were some that were MIA, like Akai for sure. And so that that is unfortunate. So I think, you know, I think the last great NAM was 2019, and I don't know if we'll ever see one return again. I think businesses have evaluated, uh, is it worth the cost and everything associated with going and spending a week away from the office? away? Well, it's not even just that. Like I said, it's more so the, the ability to market online. I think you can market better, like just dropping it when it's ready versus waiting until this convention you know and you can prep the video a lot more you can like make sure it comes out right and then just you can you know do your same presentation at nam 
factory, wherever that may be. Um, you know, promoting things that are obviously going to start to dwindle down and not be as exciting. You know, the good news, the stuff over in Europe still seems to be fairly popular, but Nam, I, I guess not. And that's that's really disappointing. The only thing that I saw that I'm aware of, I should say, that came out that I'm very curious about, very interesting, because it looks fantastic on the surface. Beat machine. Wait, does Arteria come to Nam? <sighs> Did I see Arteria? I don't think so. I don't think I saw Arteria. Machine wasn't there either. And that's Icon's new uh, control surfaces. They didn't even see that. Didn't even see that. Um, those look pretty fantastic, and and I, and I can't wait to find out more about that, get some more information, find out how reliable they are, all of the features and everything else like that. You know, that is a piece of gear that I am highly interested in. Um, why, I don't know, because it's new and it's shiny. I mean, I use, I have a pair of SSL uh, UF8. To be fair, this guy is mainly an engineer, so yeah. I think you'd only be excited about the engineering stuff as well, too. I absolutely love those things. I love them. Um, but I think it's kind of dope. You know, I'm, I'm always looking at something else like most of you. So I don't know how you guys feel about it. I think, I think you know, I think the, our industry is changing. Uh, I'm not so sure I like it, but does it really matter? I guess we're just going to have to get used to it one way or another because it kind of is what it is, right? So I mean, I won't lie. I do agree with him for the most part. Like while you, some of you guys in the chat said it was old man yelling at clouds. I mean, sometimes the old man yelling at the clouds is right. You know what I mean? I think he is kind of right, but I haven't been to the other NAMs, so I can't say for certain, but I didn't see a whole lot of new stuff. I did see a lot of stuff I was interested in that I didn't know about, but I don't think too much of it was new. Uh, if you went to NAM and, and you maybe saw some things that you were excited about, do me a favor, leave some comments in the video. Tell me what you think about all of this. Tell me if it's something you got excited about, or if you... I saw my friend get wasted. Maybe I should tell him that in the comments. Felt like it was just not a very good showing. You know, across the board, uh, there wasn't much to talk about, unfortunately, and I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles, okay? So if you like the things I talk about on this channel, do me a favor, like and subscribe, um, but most importantly, subscribe. Like I said before, leave some comments down below. But most importantly, subscribe. <laughs> tell me what you think. And <laughs> There were a few hidden gems. I don't think it was a flop this year, just a bad year maybe for music people. Until next time, I hope all of you have a great day. Whether we're going to have a great name or not again, I don't know. I'm going to hope we do, but I seriously doubt it. Bye-bye. We just need a Waves audio booth there. I think that's what we need next time. Um, yeah, overall, I, I, I agree with what he's saying. I do think that maybe his view is a bit biased just because he's mostly in audio engineering stuff. Like, I don't think he really is into like production gear or like, you know, production plugins or whatnot as much. I think at least from what I know from uh, from watching his channel a bit. Also, I think I think your, your view is going to be a bit biased as someone who didn't go. Like, it's going to you're going to feel like it was a better idea to not go after you didn't go, you know? Whereas like someone who had gone, oh yeah, what about the Casio mustard? That's true. Overall, don't really disagree with him, but I do wonder if it's a bit biased.